Okay, next assignment, notes. Each example. Now there's a couple things I want you to put. That sign right there, that means put equals, that means greater than. This sign with a line under it means greater than or equal to. Okay, this sign means less than. This sign here means less than or equal to. These are called inequalities. Okay, now this first one, we've got a couple of these two problems here. It says write an inequality for the price. Here's example one. Nothing over $10, so pick a variable. I usually use X as the variable. Now, put $10. If it says nothing over $10, can you go over $10? Well, no, you can't. If you can't go over it, then you use the less than sign. Okay? Now, my question is, can you be equal? If I say you can't go over 10, you can be equal to 10. Okay? So then you use the less than or equal. That's that. Okay, example two. Prices start at $12.99, and from there they go up. Notice how I said up. So I put X, $12.99. Now, you go over $12.99. That was what means when you start there and you go up higher. So you're going to use the greater than direction. Now, when they start there, you can also be equal to $12.99. So you want to put the greater than or equal to. Okay, and That's what you do there. Now these next ones are pretty easy. You have to tell whether the statement is true or false. I put negative 5 and 3. Well that symbol there is greater than. Now there's an easy way to do this without getting confused on what sign's which. Because a lot of people get confused. What sign's greater than? What sign's less than? Circle the bigger of the two numbers. 3 is bigger. Does the sign open up? It's like it's eating the negative 5. You know what I'm saying? It's like a mouth. It's opening up towards the negative 5. It has to open up to the bigger number. And right now it doesn't. It doesn't open up towards this number. Okay? So that's false. Okay, next one. 2 greater than 6. Well, 6 is bigger. Okay? Does it open up towards 6? Does it? No, it doesn't. It's opening up. To, so that's another false. 2 is greater than 6. No, that's false. Next one, negative 10, negative 5. Now, what's bigger, negative 10 or negative 5? Well, if you're not good with negatives, let me show you something here. Okay. Here's 0 on a number line. Negatives go this way, negative 1, negative 2. Negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. Which one's furthest to the right? Right's this way. Okay. Negative 5 is. So that's your bigger number. Okay. Negative 5 is bigger. Negative is going like in reverse. Okay. If I have two negatives, the smaller one's actually the biggest. Now, Ignore the bar. Don't worry about the bar being there unless you, unless the numbers are exactly the same. Does this open up towards the bigger number? This time it does. It's opening its mouth to the bigger number. The number I circled because it's bigger. It's opening its mouth towards that number, so that's true. I don't care if that bar's there. Okay. Next one, negative 7, 10. Well, positive is always bigger than a negative. Is it opening up to the bigger number? Yes, so that's true. Now we're going to worry about the bar being there, because now there is no bigger number to circle. If the bar is not there, it's false. Okay. 16 less than 16. No, it's not. It's false. Okay. Now I'm going to do another one kind of like it. This time the bar is there. Okay. 
no bigger number when the bar is there it's true because 24 greater than or equal to 24 well it's not greater than but it's equal to okay because they're equal they're the same number Next up, we have negative 5, negative 8. Now, what's further on the right this way on a number line? Negative 5 is further, so that's bigger. Does it open up towards negative 5? No, it doesn't, so that's false. You can either think, okay, it has to. Oh, I usually use open up to the bigger number. You can also use the nose. It looks like a nose. The nose should point to the smaller number. Okay. Next one, negative three and thirteen. Well, positive is always bigger, and it opens up towards thirteen, so that's true. Next one. Okay, we got another one of these ones where we can't circle because there's no bigger number. So is the bar there? Yes. So that's true. Next one. Any positive is bigger than a negative. Bigger. Because if you, you have negative 12 on one side of 0, 9 is on the other side of 0, so 9 is further to the right. Okay. Does it open up towards 9? No. That is false. Has to remember that the open part of the sign has to be towards the bigger number for it to be true. Negative 6 and 4. Well, any positive is bigger. It opens up towards 4, so that's true. Once you get the hang of this, it's pretty easy. Okay, 8 and 8. Well, um, there's no bigger number. The, sign is, the, the line is missing. It's not there, so it's false. If it's the same number, you check for the line. Okay, next up. 5 is bigger. It's not opening up towards 5 like it should, so that is a false statement. Because that reads 5 is less than or equal to 2. Well, it's neither one. Okay, It's not less than 2 and it's not equal to 2. Negative 50, negative 10. Again, prove this. Negative 10 is here, negative 50 is there. Negative 10 is further to the right. Okay, So that's bigger. The sign was this way, but it's not opening up towards that, so that's false. Okay, now in the next part, we have to substitute the number for a variable, then tell whether or not the not the given number is a solution. A little bit more work than just saying true false. Okay, we have b plus five less than fifteen. B equals 7. Now here's what I want you to do. Circle the, circle the sign, the less than or greater than sign, whichever one, doesn't matter, and make a wall on that side. You're going to put 7 in for the B. Keep making your wall, and you have to simplify that side using order of operations. So this is easy. You just take 7 plus 5, that's 12. Now 15 is bigger. Does it open up towards 15? Yes, it does. So that's true. Okay. So on the side you make the wall on, you just find what that is, and now you can compare them. Okay, next one. 2n plus 3 greater than or equal to 21. n equals 9. Okay. So here's the sign. Here's the wall. So we have 2. We're going to put 9 in for n, but it's 2 times 9, not 29, plus 3. Make the wall, now we simplify. Now, and please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we have multiplication and addition. Multiplication comes first, so we've got to first find out what 2 times 9 is, 18, and then do the 18 plus 3, 21. And 21. So they're the same number. I don't have a bigger number. Is the line there? Is it, it's there. Okay, the little line's there. So that is true. Okay, next one. 7a plus 4 greater than or equal to 20. a equals 2.7. Okay, so the, here's the sign. That's where the letter's at. So 7 
times 2.7 plus 4, 20. So we have times and plus. Times comes first. Okay. So I take my calculator, I figure out what 7 times 2.7 is. 18.9. So we now have 18.9 plus 4 greater than or equal to 20. And then we execute our addition. 18.9 plus 4 is 22.9. So we have 22.9, 20. Bigger numbers here, sign opens up towards it, that's true. Okay. Next one, 4y minus 3 greater than 12. y equals 4. So here's my sign, that's the side where the letter's at. Put 4 and where y's at, but it's 4 times 4 minus 3 greater than 12. Times and minus, so what comes first? Multiplication or subtraction? Multiplication does. So 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 16 minus 3 greater than 12. Then 16 minus 3 is 13. So we have 13 greater than 12. 13 is bigger, it opens towards 13, that's true. Getting a lot of trues here. Next one, m over 3 plus 14 is less than 33, m equals 9. Okay, so we put 9 in place of the m, so we have 9 divided by 3 plus 14, 33. Okay, the operations are all on that side, so I divide and plus. So what comes first, division or addition? Division is before addition. So we take 9 divided by 3, and that's 3. Then 3 plus 14, 3 plus 14 is 17. Okay, 33 is bigger. The sign opens up towards 33, that's true. Okay, next one, 5D minus 4 greater than or equal to 16. D equals 4. So we put 4 in for D, but it's 5 times 4. There's got to be a sign there, an operation sign, times. So here's where the action's at. That's where the operations are at. 16 has no operations over there. This is what I need to figure out. So times, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 minus 4, we still have 1 minus, 20 minus 4 is 16, so we have 16, 16. Okay, they're the same, the bar's there, so it's true. I've got six trues so far, not, that's unusual, but it does happen. Okay, next one, 3 plus 4y greater than or equal to 15, y equals 3. Okay, so I put a 3 for the y, but it's 4 times 3. So 3 plus 4 times 3. So the operation, we have plus and times all over there. Remember, what comes first? Multi multiplication comes before addition does. Okay, so 4 times 3 is 12. 3 plus 12 is 15. Show my work. Okay, so I have 15 and 15. Okay, this bar's there, that's true. Next one, 3 plus 4y greater than or equal to 15. y equals 3. So 3 plus 4 times 3 greater than or equal to 15. Or I just did that. I, I, again, I do that quite a bit. 4y. Minus 2 greater than or equal to 2, y is 3. So I put 3 where y is at, 4 times 3 minus 2 greater than or equal to 2. So I have times, I have minus. Times comes first. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. Here, I'll put 12 minus 2. That's a 12 right there. That's a 12. Okay, so I have 10 and 2. 10 is bigger, it opens up, true. Wow, 8 trues in a row. What are the odds?
Okay, next one we have 8 plus 3b greater than 15, b equals 2. All right, so I put 2 in for b. 3 times 2. So that's where the operations are at, that side. This I'm not worried about the 15. I'm worried about over here. Okay, plus or times? Well, times always comes before plus. 6, 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. 15 is bigger, but it doesn't open up towards 15. That's false. So we have our first false. Okay, next one, 11y minus 5 less than or equal to 30. y equals 3. Okay, 3 in for y, so you got 11 times 3 minus 5 less than or equal to 30. All right, so here's where the operations are at, times and subtraction. We have to times first, so that's 33. So 33 minus 5 less than or equal to 30. And 33 minus 5 is 28. 30 is bigger, and it opens up towards 33. That's true. Okay. All right, now the next one's kind of an oddball. It just says equals 2 plus 3x equals 10, x equals 2. Now, remember, for equals to be true, they got to be, it has to be the same number on each side. So I put 2 in for x, so 2 plus 3 times 2. Okay, plus and times, so 3 times 2 is 6, 2 plus 6 is 8, okay. Uh, those aren't the same number, they're not equal, so that is false.